it's arnob and i am back again after 2 3 months because i was just busy in some college projects and also i was working on the new college admission so i was literally busy and right now i am uploading this video it has been already recorded around 2 3 months ago but i am right now editing and uploading this video and one more thing to mention is that i have not included the installation and the configuration settings in this video because it will make this video quite lengthy and you guys will not watch the whole video So I have just cut this video into two parts. So this is the quick introduction part of this device. I'll be giving you guys a quick introduction that how are, how this device works and a quick example of this device working and also the different functionalities and the attacks available in this software that I am using over here. So you guys will have a quick idea about this device. And in the next video, I'll be showing how you guys can install the software into this ESP8266 microcontroller. Also, you can how to set up the Wi-Fi so that you can access this microcontroller or this. Hold Wi-Fi jammer from your smartphone and control or perform these attacks from your phone only. You do not need to get this device out in your hands. So just stay connected to my videos or this channel or subscribe to the channel. So let's quickly talk about the elephant in the room. That is this Wi-Fi jammer that I have built recently. So over here, let me just give you a quick idea through the components that I have used over here. So first of all, let me talk about the Node MCU. So over here, this is a Node MCU with eight two six six microcontroller. As you can see over here, let me just zoom over here. So as you can see, this is a ESP8266 microcontroller, and then we have this Pro Micro board with Art Mega 32U4 microcontroller over here, and this is a Neo Pixel, and this one is a 1.3 inch OLED display, and these are some dip switches to perform different tasks so that I can use binary code to switch into different programs. So let me just turn on this device, and under here, these are few components that I will be explaining when I will be opening this device up. So when it's turned on, as you can see over here, it is showing Wi-Fi jammer. So let's quickly have an idea that how this Wi-Fi jammer works. So first of all, as you can see, there are different dip switches. So I just turn on this switch so that the Wi-Fi jammer starts itself. And if I turn on this switch, the fan will start. So over here, there is a small fan to keep the electronics cool under here. So let me just. So as you can see here, this is the sound of the fan. So let me just turn on this fan right now because it will make some noise in the video recording. So as you can see, there are different options. So first of all, we have scan option. So if I click this switch, it will select that option. And over here, as you can see, we can scan our access points and stations. That is the Wi-Fi and the connected devices to the Wi-Fi. Also under there, here we have only if you want to scan the access points. That is the Wi-Fi network within your range. We can scan that also. And under here, we can see that there is a scan stations option. Also, if you want, you can just scan the different stations of the access points. So this switch is for back. So as soon as I click this, it will be back into the main menu. Now scroll down, and over here, as you can see, we can select. So as soon as I select, uh, click that option, you can see access points and stations. There are different. So first of all, let, let us see the what is there in the access point option. So click, select that, and over here, as you can see, these are the two Wi-Fi networks that I own myself, as I have shown you guys in the previous videos. So these are my own Wi-Fi networks. Then we can just click over 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 the option that we want to select. And just click this option. So as you can see, there is a star. That means the uh, access point has been selected. So if I scroll down, you can also select this. Also, you can just click this. Then all the options will be selected. Or you can click this one so that all the options are deselected. So let me just quickly select these options. Okay. So let us back on this switch. And now over here we have stations option. So if you click over here, then the different MAC address of the devices connected to the Wi-Fi networks will be shown. So you can just select any network that you want. And just back over here. So now over here, you you can save different names of the Wi-Fi networks that you want to create. That is a fake Wi-Fi network name. Also over here, as you can see, there are different random access. Well, sorry, uh, let me just switch the option. You will have a quick idea. So as you can see over here, we can clone a, a piece. That means we can clone the networks that we have selected. That I have shown you that ARNX underscore X dot B was the Wi-Fi network name. My Wi-Fi network's name. If I press this. As you can see, all my networks clone has been created. So if I, so by this one, uh, you can create the clone of any Wi-Fi network. And then we have random mode. 
So if I click random Wi-Fi networks name will be created. So let's just uh, create clone network and then back over here. Okay, so this is the all the options. Now our attack option, there are different options that I will be uh, explaining in the end. So then we have packet of monitor. So we can monitor different packets that are being transactions. The packet transaction taking place in different channels. So you can press this button to change over over different channels. So this is channel 14. Then we have 13, 12. And like this, we can over over different channels to have an idea that what are the different type of packets or if there any packet transaction is taking place. So let's quickly have a look around what are the different attacks that this Wi-Fi jammer can perform. So first of all, select the attack option and over here, first of all, we can see that there is a deauth attack. That is the deauthentication attack. So in this attack, this Wi-Fi jammer will send deauthentication packets to the devices within its range. And it will automatically destroy devices from the Wi-Fi network they were connected into. And after that, we have beacon frame attack. So in beacon frame attack, the basic extended area communication network that is the full form of beacon. And in the beacon frame attack, it is actually a beacon frame will be sent to the devices and it is actually used by the wi our Wi-Fi networks to broadcast their Wi-Fi so that the devices can get uh, useful information so that they can connect to the Wi-Fi network. So it will just send fake Wi-Fi access points beacon frame and it will just spam fake, fake name. So it will just spam the fake networks within its range and the devices and the users will get confused that which is the actual network and they will be unable to get connected to the Wi-Fi network. So you can just select all the three and just hit start and it will automatically start the attacks and one last thing that is that is new pixels so as soon as you attack it will turn into red as you can see it i have turned on all the attacks so it, this new pixel turned into red so if soon as i stop it will turn into green so when i start to uh, monitor the packets uh, over here as you can see the packet monitor mode and it will turn into blue and when the device is uh, in the menu option it will be green so this, this is the functionality of the new pixel so before quickly ending this video, I just want to mention that you doesn't need all these components to make this Wi-Fi jammer. You just need this ESP8266 microcontroller or this Node MCU just to make this Wi-Fi jammer. You have to connect this with your smartphone and then you can just do all the same per task that I performed over here. So it doesn't need the screen or buttons and anything. You just need this one. So you can buy this one from Amazon. It will cost you more in Amazon, but if you buy from trusted websites like robo.in so for india i buy from robo.in or i have something named robocrace.com i guess uh, so these are the way i buy this electronics these are very frequently so i they are trusted quality of the components are also very nice so you can just buy this one it will cost you around 150 rupees or two dollar so you can just buy this one and connect it to your smartphone and make this whole wi-fi jammer work only in this thing so that being said I am ending this video today and in the next video we will see how to install this software into this ESP826 microcontroller and how to connect this to your smartphone.